Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you, like it says in the title, the best 100k team build I was able to come up with. And this team build is based off what I like to use and not just specifically what other people like to use. So if there is a player that you really like using it on your team so far, don't be afraid to just throw it into your lineup. But first of all, uh, this team is worth around 100k. It's around, give or take, around 100. So I'm going to show you my lines here, and trust me, uh, they are very solid players, each one, and this will add up to around 100k for those people that do have that amount of coins. Uh, but before I start, uh, this this at least team is basically built with the team strategy, so if you haven't seen that team strategy video, I'm going to put the video on, on the screen right now. You can click that for the annotation, or the link in the description is up to you, but you want to try changing your strategies to that, and this really works well with this team build, all right? But this team build is really based off of size and speed. And what I like to do is I like to pair up a lot of fast guys and a lot of speedy guys with a lot of huge guys that can really hold onto the puck. And I'll tell you why uh, I have these players on my team right now. So first line, I have uh, Jaden Schwartz, Brian Boyle, and Marty Hanslin. So Jaden Schwartz is a very, very underrated player. I love using him. Like that is why he's on my first, li first line over other players. He's just an amazing player. I don't know what is with him, but he scores so many goals with Brian Boyle and Marty Hansel. And then next up, we got Brian Boyle. And if you guys don't know, uh, Brian Boyle is 6'7", 244 pounds. I guess you can get the high live of him. There is a high live out for him right now. And this guy is basically a quick sell player, but people don't know. He's actually amazing when he's boosted. It's up to you if you want to boost him or not. Uh, but you can also move this down to the third or fourth line if you don't want to boost them. But they are still a very good lineup, very hard to play against. Next up is Marty Hansel, also fully boosted, 6'6", six six, 230 pounds, I put him on the right wing, and he is my guy that just likes to circle around their zone and just cause havoc. These guys, Brian Boyle and Hansel together, they are so complimentary to, to each other, and then Jaden Schwartz, a little quick player to get in that slot, he is the perfect compliment for all these guys, so this is my first line here. Uh, I didn't put the change teams, you guys can put change teams if you want. I'm not sure if team chemistry makes too big of a difference, but as long as these guys are in the right position, you put uh, change position cards on them, you should get at least 91 chemistry on all of them. All right, but going on to the second line here, Michael Bodker, uh, he will run you from two to three K, even less, from, probably when you see this video, he's only like one or two K, uh, but he's very, very cheap, but he's also a very fast player, 89 skating, one of the fastest skaters for at least 86 overall, that's insane. Uh, just a little bit lower than Marion Gabrick on the, also on the second line, sorry. Uh, he has 90 skating. Marion Gabriel, I think he's the fastest 86 overall player in the game. Uh, with 90 skating, he's boosted. I put a plus 5 all in him. He's got 90 skating, 89 shot, 87 hands, which is insane for overall like that. Uh, but Marion Gabriel, Bodker complement each other very well. Very quick. And then you got Miku Koivu here. It's a little bit uh, off, the, off the road a little bit. But Miku Koivu is a little bit of a bigger player. Oops, messed up there. But Miku Koivu, a little bit of a bigger player. 6'2". 217 pounds and he is an absolute tank with vodka and Gabrick. You should definitely try it out uh, on your second line or third line or wherever you want to move them. Next up is Evander Kane. Uh, he will run you from 8 to 9k. He's not too expensive this year. He's, he's under 10k player for sure. Then we got Joel Thornton. He is around 15k but people don't know like even though he's 89 overall he is an absolute tank. 6 foot 4, 220. Very close to uh, Marty Hansel's size. Uh, but just a little bit better stats for sure. I haven't boosted Joe Thornton, but you can only put one slot on him, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully they come out with like a milestone card or a hut live of him sometime. Uh, because I really like Joe Thornton in this game. Then we got uh, Jakub Voracek. He is on uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Right wing sniper. He will run you from around 7 to 8k. Once again, this lineup, uh, you, these are like your 10k players. These guys, you need to tank. Uh, the other team these guys will match up very well with other teams and then fourth line here uh, the fourth line is just the speedster line just to get you out of any ruts any anything to uh, recharge your first second and third lines while they are on the bench these guys will keep up the speed and play very well against like very slow teams uh, especially Alexander Simon, Carl Haglin, Darren Helm. Haglin will run you from 1 to 2k. Darren Helm is a quick sell player. Alexander Simon's a little bit more expensive, but because his stats are that crazy with 88 shooting. I think one of the best shootings for an 85 overall player. Uh, definitely you gotta pick him up. Only 4k this year, which is absolutely crazy. So add it up all together. This is around like 70, 80, or around 60, 70k in players. This is for Xbox One, of course. 
and if you really wanted to wait until a mega pack comes out and you got you can pick up these like more expensive guys like Miku Koivu at Marion Gabrick for a lot cheaper uh, Marion Gabrick's very cheap this year and he's only 86 overall but he plays like 88 89 overall for sure all right so these guys are on my uh, on my offensive line I'm just gonna show some honorable mentions that couldn't make it to the team but are still very very good all right so on the left wing spot you can see all the players I have uh, Patrick Marlowe, if you have extra pucks, he's definitely a great player. 89 skating, 88 shot, 88 hands. Like, you can't go wrong with him. I usually pair him with Joe Thornton, but for the sake of this video, sorry about that. For the sake of this video, I took out Patrick Marlowe uh, just so the team would fit around 100k, uh, the budget. But you have a little bit more money to spend, of course, you can go for that. Jeff Skinner, 87 overall, but look at his stats 89, 88, 87. He is an absolute speedster. And he only costs like four to five k. And on a, a player pack or a special pack, whatever it is, he drops down to two to three k. And you can pick him up for really, really cheap. It's actually insane. Uh, Nick Foligno, I heard, was pretty good as well. But other than that, uh, Mason Raymond, he was okay. A little bit on the slow end for me. And other than that, that is basically all the left wingers I really do like to use. Uh, let me show you the centermans that I might be missing. I, I actually haven't checked up my backup. Uh, but I've been, I've been taking out players for a while and switching them up uh, quite a bit. But uh, let's see who else we got here. Paul Stastny, if you really are running low on pucks, Paul Stastny is my guy for sure on the fourth line. He gets stuff done for sure. Uh, even if you guys know, watch my Hut Roulette or my Pack Squad. Paul Stastny always scores me a goal every single game. I don't even know what's with him. Uh, but that is all for the centermen. And I think I have quite a few right wingers to show you guys on the right wing. Just in case maybe you can't afford a Gabrick or maybe you can't afford a Marty Hansel boosted. I'm going to show you a couple affordable and cheap right wingers. Mike Camilleri, even though he has 88 speed, he is amazing. His acceleration, his speed, that is what makes him such a powerful player. Mike Camilleri, you definitely got to try it out if you want to pick him up. He's only 2,000. Like, it's insane. All right, and I think that's just about it. I think I might have one more player in the backup here. Got a couple hot lives, but other than that, there's not too much on the backup. So I'm going to show you the defense now. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else in here. I'm going to show you the defense now. And the goalies, you can see here as well, Steve Mason. Uh, okay, so the best goalies I like to use, Steve Mason uh, as my kind of backup goaltender. And Bishop is my starting goaltender. He will run you from 30 to 40k. Uh, right now, he's on Xbox One around October 9th. So, so his... Player price won't go up too much unless this, this video really does get viral and a lot of people buy Bishop all of a sudden. But Bishop is like a 30-40k player and that will reach 100k for your team build almost. Uh, but I want to show you the defense here. Obviously, you can change the defense to what you want. But Giordano, a 1-2k to 2K player, very cheap for an 87 overall defenseman with 87 skating and 86 defense. Those are the categories I really like to look at. Checking uh, really doesn't matter for defense because these guys usually have the size for it. Like As long as you run into the guy you will usually knock him down. Matt Niskanen, 87 skating, once again, uh, 86 defense. I like to have those categories nice and high for skating and defense. Uh, shooting, I don't really mind too much. I, I don't shoot too much from the point anyways. Uh, but going on to defense, once again, uh, skating for Mark Stahl, 88 defense. So he is a very good player, like three to four K. Skating, 86 overall. Jack jo or Eric Johnson, sorry. 86 overall, uh, giving you 86 skating and 86 defense. That is kind of my line one as well. And then we got Dustin Bufflin, a very underrated player this year in my opinion. He will run you from 15 to 20k, but he is a must-have on any team. Uh, you let him run around the defensive zone, he will knock down players for sure. And Justin Falk, you guys know, this guy can also be swapped up for Tyson Berry or Tyler Berry, whatever his name is. Uh, you can swap him up for those guys. Those guys are very good. Uh, Tyson Berry is on the Colorado Avalanche, and Justin Falk is on the Carolina Hurricanes. They're basically the same player, but very, very solid players. Very agile, that's for sure. So those are the lineups. Uh, those That is my basically 100k team build. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want you guys to post in the comments one of your favorite underrated players in this game. Uh, I think rather that's cheap. Under 100k for sure. Post it in the comments below. And then maybe if you guys want to see all the comments people have. Maybe the most liked uh, player. You know what? I, I might just throw it into the team next time. And you guys can maybe try him out for yourself. If it has 10 likes on it, maybe he is a great player that I just missed out on. I don't have every single great player, obviously. But that is just about it for this team build. I hope you guys enjoyed this 100k team build. It's been a little bit long, but uh, that is just about it, alright? So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. That big of a difference, but I'm going to open up a couple packs here. I'll open up, uh, I'll say two, 
Uh, I'll open up three seventeen thousand five hundred and I've been watching a lot of pack openings recently. I want to shout this guy out, Duncan C seventy five for Duncan. You guys don't know him.